it's Maida and welcome to my Laura Mercier makeup haul. Um, you're gonna love a lot of the things that I have here today uh, from Laura Mercier. It's an amazing line, beautiful quality and um, just some awesome stuff to try out. A little bit pricier than your average, you know, drugstore, you know, makeup and whatnot, but um, it's great quality and she has some amazing products. So I'm actually gonna go into it. Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. This is an amazing cleanser. This is basically, it's, I love foaming cleansers, so regardless, I love to have like a bubble bath on my face. And um, this, because it's oil-free, it makes it even better, so it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. But you put this on, you wet your face a little bit, pump it out, a little bit of foam, put it on with, when you have your full makeup done, whatever it is that you're taking off, Put it over top and just massage it in, rinse, rinse. It strips off your entire makeup. So it's basically your makeup. Um, it also like tones your skin and it's um, a cleanser all in one. So three in one step, amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And it just does everything. And, and it leaves your skin so smooth after. So one product that I absolutely love. I love her oil-free primer. I'm a big primer person, um, even though I don't do it all the time but most of the times that I do do it I like a good primer that's gonna keep my makeup on and the Laura Mercier oil free primer here is amazing this will keep your skin soft and smooth it doesn't clog your pores at all so you shouldn't break out to it um, and it's uh, basically really really thin comes on really nice and smooth and I haven't found any problems with my foundation has lasted me all day with this primer and I just love it it's oil free how can you go wrong with an oil free primer okay so the next product is the Laura Mercier translucent powder this one right here um, I absolutely love this one because it's great it's a loose setting powder um, you just kind of twist the piece here has holes in it, tap it out into the lid, and um, I use this to set my foundation, concealer, everything with. Um, I'm a little bit more oily, so it's really good for oily skin. It's going to keep your skin more matte. Um, you'll have less touch-ups throughout the day, blotting and all that. Um, however, if you're not very oily but you want a loose setting translucent powder, they also have their universal powder. It's got a little bit more of a light reflecting pigment to it, so you won't get a full, like you'll still get a little semi-matte, but it won't be... Um, as fully matte feeling on your skin. So uh, that's also a great one too. I've used it before, love it, awesome. They're both really great translucent powders. I feel like my foundation stays like on forever and is just flawless throughout the day. So I absolutely love, love, love those. The eyeshadows that I'm wearing today, which is right here. So I'm actually wearing um, Wet and Dry Eyeshadows by Laura Mercier. And these ones here are amazing. I absolutely love these. Um, basically, I'm wearing the bronze one, which is this one right here, on my lid, if you could see that. And then I have, um, the bronze one's actually called Terracotta. Um, I have Ballet Pink, which is this one, on as my highlight and in my inner corner. And then as the third one, I have Black Carrot, which I believe is a holiday one as well, but amazing. I just kind of blended it out there. It's kind of got this like green gold tint to it. Amazing color. Love it, especially for the holidays. Beautiful, beautiful. So these are wet to dry. This is why I love these ones so much, is they're wet to dry, so you could basically wet your brush a bit. Um, if you want a softer look, wear it dry. If you want more intensity, wear it wet. And I've actually worn them wet, so that's why you could see that they're really highly pigmented um, when, when you wet them. That's the one thing about Laura Mercier's uh, makeup, when it comes to foundation, tinted moisturizers, eyeshadows, she's very pigmented. So what you see is what you get. And I absolutely love that about makeup. So next eyeshadow that I love, which is my favorite black, and I've used it in probably quite a few of my tutorials. Most of my tutorials that I use black eyeshadow in would probably be my Laura Mercier black one. Um, and this one's awesome because I find that, like, it's so hard to find a true black eyeshadow for smoky eyes or to blend anywhere. Um, and this one definitely delivers. Oh, also, I also got the new holiday collection. Um, well, it says tester there because the one that I got was a tester. It's brand new though. Um, and this is the new uh, Noir. It's a 
Noir Glacé nail polish. So she has a few nail polishes too. Usually they come out in collections and holiday sets and whatnot. Um, so this is the new one for the holiday. It's like a deep dark chocolate brown. Love it. I haven't actually tried it yet, but when I do, I'll show it to you guys. To go with my eyes. Uh, the Laura Mercier Mascara, which is their original mascara. It's their faux lash mascara in black. And the cool thing about this is that it's basically got a brush that's super huge, like a pretty much like a toothbrush almost. <laughs> um, but it's got this space in between. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but um, it's basically got like all the bristles, shorter bristles on one side and longer bristles on the other. Um, and what this does is it basically helps deliver volume and the space between with the shorter bristles, it when you twist, it's giving you not just volume but separation at the same time. So love that. And it's also buildable, so you can layer it without it getting super clumpy. And I'm wearing it today, right there, as you can see. I also have on my lips, I'm wearing the new um fall color on my lips. It's their Rose Hope lip gloss, which is this one. One thing I absolutely love about this color is it's not just a gorgeous color on the lips, as you can see, but um, every purchase you make in buying one of these, uh, the proceeds go towards ovarian cancer. And there's a lot of makeup brands out there that have, you know, a product that proceeds go towards breast cancer, they go towards, you know, um, so many other AIDS and whatnot, like so many other, you know, charities but you don't see so much go towards ovarian cancer and it is something serious with women these days so um i absolutely love that she's catered to it to try to really push and like, make women more aware of that this is a huge thing as well to support it so um the awareness isn't as strong as breast cancer and everything, so she's definitely trying to push that. And this one, any purchase you make of this one, proceeds will go to ovarian cancer, so it makes a great stocking stuffer for the holidays or just a color to pick up for yourself. Rose Hope is the name. Um, definitely go out and get one. Two other ones that I absolutely love are their metallic cream eye colors. You can wear these alone. They stay on solid if you do. Um, and I have it in pink gold and rose gold um, or you could wear them underneath a shadow if you want more of like a shimmer base uh, to shine through to illuminate your shadow your powder shadows as soon as I get this open I'm gonna show you what it looks like this one is the rose gold right there you could see how illuminating it is really strong in pigment like again like Super pigmented, love it. Um, also, I'll show you the pink gold, a little bit of it, and pink gold is this second one here. So it's got more of that pinky undertone. You could also use this as a highlight. If you want more of a dewy finish, you can apply it a little bit onto the cheeks here as well. Um, but mostly for eyes, and I absolutely love that. So we got the rose gold and the pink gold here. Look at how strong those beautiful colors are. Love it. So what I'm wearing on my cheeks here is the quad here it's a quad blush palette here so you basically have like light you got the corals and this one's actually the uh, coral red um, quad and you have a little bit of like a bronze here you got some lighter for highlight corals um, it's not it's 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 got a little bit of a sheen to it it's not super shiny it's more of like a, like a powdered blush type quad um, and I absolutely love it because I can mix whatever I want I can do the highlight and then if I want more color on my cheeks I can go into I can go into a square separately if I want to if I want more of a color or what I like to do is I also just just take it on and blend it she also has uh, the mosaics which are beautiful they're like this but they're a little bit more split and whatnot they have like more colors and they're a lot more shimmery um, and if you really like that nice dewy glow the mosaics are beautiful so you have four colors in one quad that you can select and play up however you like um, this is their all-over eyeshadow brush which I love I I like the, the wet and dry shadows that I've applied onto my eyes I actually use this for, which was awesome. It's a great brush to pick up. 
intense pigment if you really want to just kind of pack it on. <clears throat> and it's also a great blush because it's a lot more fuller here. I, I love to use it for blending out like hard lines and everything. Um, this is their cream detail brush right here. Great brush for applying more like cream shadows or, you know, you could actually use this to line the eyes with, with a gel liner or anything. Like, uh, that's what that little tip is there for. Um, but I use it more for lining lips. So if I have a really nice rich color that I don't have a lip liner for, I will use this brush to line my lips with because it's got the point so I can get a really nice fine lip line with it, plus it's fuller here so I can fill in my lips with the color. Love it. The corner eye color brush. Who would have thought to create a corner eye color brush? Like, how brilliant is that? A brush just to fit the corner of your eye for that super sparkle that you add to like highlight on the inner corners. Love it! Okay, so this is what that one looks like. And it's just so cute. It just fits like right on the inner corner to set that with. And I mean, sometimes I'll use it even just to blend out a little bit of black on here. But like, I love it. It just fits that inner corner. like totally perfect so you're not using any other eyeshadow brush that's gonna get it everywhere wherever you want it in that exact corner is exactly where you're gonna get it but I use it to line underneath here as well for eyeshadows and stuff like that that pretty much sums up all the stuff that I have with Laura Mercier and uh, definitely check it out it's a great line I absolutely love it and she's done a fantastic job with you know the pigmentation in her products so definitely check it out and uh, let me know what you think of it when you do. Comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!